Hey guys, Decaf13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Double Survivor 2 Record Breaker. In the last episode, uh, we woke up here on Friday, the fourth day of the Triangular Mark, and decided to completely reject Miyako's plan, and she has now declared war on us. So yeah, she's gonna stop at nothing to sacrifice us for her master plan. Uh, after that, though, we went and learned everything we could about the Astrolabe and Administrative Authority from Yamato, and apparently there's a lot we can do using the Astrolabe. We can use it to, of course, regress the world, or we can use it to overwrite everyone's psyches. That's how Ronaldo and Yamato plan to do their meritocracy and egalitarian societies in the last, uh, well, in the Polaris world. And we can also use it to create a new world, which was what Alcor wanted to do. And by doing that, we would be free of the administrator system. But of course, uh, we'd just be stuck in a primeval world, with, which is extremely hard to survive in. So we still have a lot to think about in regards to that, what, what, what exactly it is we want to do. But hey, at least we know we don't want to kill ourselves for Miyako. Anyway, uh, let's get started with uh, this Gyps Strikes event, which of course is a battle. It's the first time within the planetarium in the triangular mark. You arrive at the planetarium. Everyone else, save Daiji, has already arrived. Ah, you're here. That just leaves Shijima. Of course it does. I got us the code for the Mount Fuji terminal. I've already finished the preparations, so we're good to go. Alright. You work fast, Fumi. Oh, it was nothing. I haven't done anything praiseworthy. Sorry I'm late, guys. What the hell took you so long? Shame on you, Daichi. Shame. You know that being late is never acceptable. <laughs> you should talk. You've been followed. Good job, Daichi. What? There they are! Good fucking job, Daichi. <laughs> fucking goddammit. All Daichi's gotcha fault. Now. There's no time to wait for the Chief's arrival. We're capturing these rebels right here and now. Well, we need to escape. What? It'll get really bad if Miyako shows up. Yeah. Let's break on through. Now we're talking. Let's do this. I thought Kato would like that plan. To head there or head there. Those are our two options of escape. Alright, so we just have to get out. We don't have to bother fighting, but, I mean, we always could. It'll be me and Yamato over here, and then Ronaldo and Otome over there. I don't even think I need to use suspense, so hey, let's, let's fucking go. Everybody stay together, head for the same exit. We have to head for the same exit? I didn't know that. Oh well. Well, at least we have easy Gyps members to fight. Hey, level up for me. That means my magic's gonna get pumped to 40. How could a group of worthless civilians put Gyps agents to rout? I, I must fall back. Hey. Confirm the targets are on site. Moving to engage. We will defeat them this time. So yeah, I think the gimmick is every time you defeat one, more of them show up. So just, just, just get out. That, that, that's the main point of contention here. Just me and Yamato will get out relatively easily. Ooh, devil speed. Ooh, I don't know why you think that's a good idea. <laughs> Man, your your Mothman don't even have fucking endure. Get fucking good. Seriously, get fucking good, dude. And fucked. Good shit, Ronaldo. 
damn, I screwed up. Can't do anything without my phone. En route to rendezvous with the front line. Chief Hotsuin is sure to give me a me medal once I take down these targets. There's even more agents incoming. Let's get out of here. Gee, I I'd love to do that, Odame. Oh god. Are you going? Why me? I have two people on my team that fucking reflect physicals. Oh, but you have Pierce. That could be bad for me. Especially because I don't have a lot of vitality. However, uh, there is one flaw with your plan. I have a multi-striker with Pierce, so you're fucked. You get fucked. Oh, man. A Avians are so good with multi-strike. Ah, they're too strong. And another one. It's been a long time, you bastards. Our new demons are stronger than ever. You won't stand a chance. Man, of course they fucking reuse the same bad personnel. Why wouldn't they? No, oh, I'm not even gonna attack. I'm just gonna have Yamato and Xander get the f piece the fuck out. Oh, no. I'm proceeding with the escape. Don't waste time here. We're getting out of getting out over there. Excellent. Time to make our good time to make good our escape. Oh no, what are you doing? That was a new phone. I just got it from logistics. I'll have to retreat. Targets are here, huh? We brought out the big guns this time. We'll show you what Gyps is really capable of. Oh, of course you have an evil wave, you fucking bitch. Yeah, ba Battle is gonna do a lot to fucking Renal, though. Eh, you guys don't have fucking. Why am I gonna bother destroying my own HP when I could just target this bitch? They don't have Paladin Soul and she doesn't have fucking. Endure, so whatever. <laughs> Were my demons not strong enough? Oh, is that all the reinforcements? <laughs> They're not coming in anymore. Yeah, just target the bitch in the middle. Oh, Culebra, that didn't help. Bishamon 10 helped. I don't care if we're getting like half the fucking reward for that shit. You managed to escape the area. And you're going after Ronaldo. Sure. <laughs> I don't see why not. Let's see. Yeah, none of you guys have fucking protect either, so we're good. She has a fucking Abaddon. Ooh, that's not good. Deathbound, Hassohappa. Like, eh, not my move to die. Eh, drain. Huh. Oh, that, that did some good damage. Alright, Ronaldo's the only one left now. He's just gotta make his escape. Uh, he's not gonna be able to outrun that guy with wing flight. Damn. <laughs> well, your increased evade doesn't really matter. Oh, 
Nana is still getting level ups just from taking out the middle guy. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. Wow, I'm unarmed, you fucking pussy. Alright, and Ronaldo's out now. We did it, we win. I better catch up with the others. Damn it, we can't let them escape. All units converge and take them out. Where'd they go? Spread out! Find them! They're coming after us. Damn, they're persistent. Yeah, I would imagine so. Miyako really needs us for her plan, after all. I'll distract them while you guys go ahead. Diversionary tactics, huh? Alright, I'm coming along with you then. Wait! That's far too dangerous. If we're all caught, then we've lost everything. Mm. Don't worry, we'll just buy you guys some time to reach the terminal. We'll meet you there shortly. Very well. The rest of us will go on ahead and wait for you at the terminal. Got it. I'm counting on you to look after the rest of them, Yamato. Two people isn't going to be enough of a diversion. I'll go as well. Uh, count me in too. I mean, it's only fair since I kind of led them here. I mean, that is true. <laughs> Looks like you finally found some guts, Daichi. <laughs> Even I can step up to the plate when I need to. Well, more so when you have to, because this is, as I've said before, your fault. The four of us will act as decoys, then. Come back safe. Thank you. We'll meet up with you shortly. You part ways with Ronaldo, Keita, Makoto, and Daichi. Gyps agents are guarding the terminal. It seems the others have spotted the targets. They're probably headed this way. Keep your guard up. Gyps has already sent agents to cut us off. Damn. What should we do? Fight him? No need to be so hasty. We've tracked the targets to Centering Park. Beginning engagement. Send reinforcements immediately. Oh, Ronaldo, you, you, you beautiful bastard, you. What? Agent, we have orders to hold this position. They're far too strong. There's no way we can defeat them unless we focus all our forces on defeating them here. Damn. Another man down. Hurry, please. We won't last much longer. Understood. Heading over at once. <laughs> Gyps agents run from the room. Yay! They left! Was that Ronnie's voice on the radio? Quite the thespian. Indeed he is. That should buy us some time before they return. So that went well. I hope the four of them are alright. All we can do is have faith and wait. We'll hold here for a little while until the decoy group rejoins us. You're free to do as you wish in the meantime. Don't stray too far from the area. Your group splits up. Alright, we just gotta wait for those four to come back. Ritual, answer, saving memories. Um. Hmm. Bodemi's still at two. Fumi's at two as well. Man, might as well do Fumi. No, oh, actually. Iris at three, right? Could go with Iris. Hmm, I don't know who I want to spend time with. I mean, I could just go to the ritual. Uh. Eh, fuck it, these events will still be here when I get back. You return to the terminal. Almost everybody has arrived, but Daichi is nowhere to be seen. The plan worked, but. I'm sorry. It's Daichi. Was he captured? Yes. I'm sorry. They caught him. The plan succeeded, but we'd let our guard down. Daichi said he needed to use the bathroom, then... Yeah. Well, we were wondering what was taking him so long. And... that's when you found out they captured him? I'm sorry it came to this. What are we going to do? Should we go save Daichi? We can't. We have a more important mission. Indeed. We cannot save him until we are prepared to face Miyako. First, we must attain the full power of the Dragon Stream. Then we can save Shijima. The Chief's right. We can't risk losing everything. Come on, we need to reclaim the Chief's power over the Dragon Stream. Stay focused, everyone. We're heading to the Mountain Facility. Got it. Sending the code now. You arrive at the Fuji Crater.
Oh boy. We're here. And this place is still unbelievably frigid. Let's do what we gotta do and go home. Oh, poor Fumi. First, we must use the consoles to alter the flow of the Dragon Stream and unleash more of its power. However. to eliminate every being who approaches. Stay back if you enjoy your existence. The consoles are being guarded by demons. If Chief Miyako stationed them there, I'd assume they're powerful. Of course she would use demons to defend this place. The conditions are too harsh for human personnel. But the power of the Dragon Stream appears to be attracting other untamed demons here. Currently, those untamed ones are focused on the demons guarding the stake. But they will attack us if given the chance. Pay close attention to the demons approaching the area as well. I sense more are on the way. Understood. There are four control consoles for the Dragon Stream, and we need to operate them simultaneously. All right. One, two, three, and four. Just like when we did this the first time to unleash more of the Dragon Stream to use it against Mizar. I must man the one located on the upper right. Oh, okay. The rest of you head for the other consoles and wait until we are all in position. We will need to activate all four at the same time, so make sure to stay alive. So since Yamato needs to be at this one, I'll change his team up so he has the Culebre, and I'll give Ronaldo uh, one of the Garudas. Having flight here will make things very easy. No skills. Let's edit team first. Oh, actually. Where can Yamato? Where can I put Yamato? Can I put him? I can put him over by this one. So he he gets. Okay, so we can start in the areas that they showed us. I'll go here as well. And then Otome here and Ronaldo here. So then let's just change up the teams. So that, yeah, you have Garuda, you can have Culebre. Right, I'll suspend on this one. Alright, here goes. Alright, start. So let's start heading down to Veritra. Who are you guys? On second thought, I don't think I care. You must leave this place. Move. Oh yeah? Why don't you make me? Ah, the intruders have arrived. I shall support my fellow demons as I have sworn to do. Alright, well there's one. <laughs> Mega Doe, Holy Dance, and the Multi Strike. That works. You know what, before he got his dumbass Tetracon off. That's nice. Alright, that's one of the ter Terminal Guardians down. You can't use Multi Strike on. Oh, right, Yamato doesn't have Multi Strike now. He has magic. Yeah, this works. Alright. Yeah, HP up plus. And two Zalarhans. Return, soul of the defeated. Your foe is not yet felled. Oh, fuck off. Now is the time to arise. Right, she has recon. Okay, we, we need to take out Lakshmi first. Because that, that bitch is going to be just, just problems. 
fuck? Oh, Abaddon. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. Better try. That Mothman gave it the best try, honestly. Yeah, I, I really don't care about the Abaddon right now. I'll... My, my main target right now is just taking out that fucking Lakshmi. We, we don't need her reviving every single demon here. We, we can take our time dealing with the Abaddon. R Ronaldo's team can tank it out. And even if he gets a little too hurt, we have his Garuda to heal up. If only, was there a, if only there was a way I could position myself to be fighting both this Lakshmi and uh, the Abaddon on the same turn. Well, I mean, it's good that the Murmur only got revived with the one. Well, like, the barely even half health. That made things a bit simpler. I mean, hey, all the, all the terminals are free. I'm at the console. What do I do with this thing? Good work. Hold position until I reach the main console. First things first, just in case I have to bide my time. Okay, good, because me and Ronaldo get to go before the other Abaddon does. So that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you to deal with these fucking guys. Uh, I just drink. Well, I'm prepared. We just, have we just have to have everyone check in at the consoles. Oh shit, I could have attacked from there? Fucking hell. <laughs> well, that could have made things much simpler. But oh well. Oh wait, you reflect ice. Oh well. Sure, I'm just gonna buy it. Uh, hey, just, just easier for Holy Dance to get your dumbass. That works. Thank you, Cosfiel. You reach the console. Good, hold that position. And Ronaldo. Good, everybody's in position. What are these humans? They're too strong. I'm out of here. Alright, simple enough. Is everyone ready? Then let us proceed. Open the valve to 90%. On my cue. Three, two, one. Now! Was it a success? Splendid. We have accomplished our mission. My command of the Dragon Stream should be as strong as it was in the previous world. All right. I am now on equal footing with Miyako Hotsui. So we finally stand a chance against Miyako. We can save Daichi and Saiduk now. You receive a call. It is I, Miyako Hotsui. Ah. Uh. 
expecting you. As you may already know, I currently have custody of your companion, Daichi Shijin. I'm sorry, guys. Damn it, Daichi. Meet me at the Sky Tower at noon. Fucking God, man. I shall guarantee his safety until then. However, if you do not appear at the appointed time, you may consider him lost. Now, if you'll excuse me. The call ends. Was that call from Miyako? What'd she say? You tell everyone what Miyako said. So, Daichi is being held hostage. Yep. This is my fault. I've let the team down. It's not your fault, Ronaldo. <laughs> we, we know whose fault it is, though. No, it isn't. Huh? Thank you. But I have to take some of the blame for this. Kuriki. Lamenting over what's done will not alter the state of things. You can make amends in the upcoming operation. Exactly. Yes. Yes, I shall. The time Miyako has specified is 1,200 hours. She's giving us time to prepare. Likely because she has some preparations of her own to make. You think Daichi's... all right? Chief Miyako said that she would ensure his safety until then, correct? Chief Miyako never goes back on her word. If she promised his safety, he will be safe. Yeah, if she was going to do something to him, she would have done it already. We do not know where Shijima or Miyako is right now. Yeah. We only have one option. Go to the Sky Tower at noon and strike against her. I suppose that means it's time to get ready for battle then. Correct. Meet at the Sky Tower at 1200 hours. It's past time we taught that irritating vixen a lesson. Indeed, Let's Yamato. Let's fall back to Nagoya for now. You return to the- from the- You return from Fuji Crater with the others. Huh. <sighs> Alright. So. Now Yamato has his full power back. I just gotta meet Miyako at the Sky Tower at noon. And we can save Daichi and Saiduk. Well, before we do that, though, let's get everyone up to rank 3. So, Fumi and Otome are the only people who we don't have, well, who we have with us right now, who aren't in rank 3, so... Let's start with Fumi. Fumi's fiddling with a device. Oh dear. Not again. Is that going to explode again? I suppose there's a chance the electrical components might ignite and chain react with the chemicals in the... No, it's negligible. Why? Are you interested in it? Curiosity is the heart of scientific advancement. I'm curious all. if I'm the one you're going to be hooking up to that machine. This is the machine for outputting patterns of memory engrams to external storage, prototype one. Oh boy. It's just a proof of concept, though, so an improvised unit is good enough for now. On the topic of why did you decide to make something this ingenious for me? Uh, the obvious question to ask here. I've seen a lot of stuff in this world. All of that has made me remember that memory is rather unreliable. And if memory itself is unreliable, then any theory that the world is based on subjectivity is also unreliable. It's normal to forget some things. Of course. The memory's ambiguous nature is an important defense mechanism for humanity. What I'm talking about right now is how the state of memory itself is unreliable. Like how our memories can be completely overhauled or completely erased. Ugh, don't you hate it when that happens? And yet it does. We have experienced such things firsthand. So, that's what started me thinking. What if we could save our memories externally? Hmm. If we managed to do that, we'd be able to retrieve our memories instantaneously should our minds ever be erased or rewritten. Again. Wouldn't a video be just as good? No, that wouldn't be just as good at all. <laughs> it couldn't record the qualia, the, the very nature of how things seem or feel to us individually. The thought experiment of Mary's Room by Frank Jackson would be a good example. What? This may sound like it should be categorized under philosophy, and that would be close, but not entirely accurate. It originally stands between the properties of dualism or a neutral monism. That statement makes sense. Exactly. So, that's my point. I want my memory data to be able to reproduce that sense of qualia, individual understanding. I guess if I had to explain it to someone less intelligent than myself, I'd say it was a backup of the... soul. This machine is our first step in challenging the hard problem of consciousness. Although, suppose we were able to create this perfect backup data and save those memories. 
If the auxiliary storage itself is composed of matter, then it cannot transcend worlds during our regression like the ones we've been through. Yeah, that's true. So ultimately, I'd like to conceptualize this memory data and save it on the Akashic Record. Hmm. In the meantime, my test subject should be arriving at any moment. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, Jungo, not again. <laughs> Speak of the test subject. Hey there, Jungo. Thanks for coming by. Oh, not again. What do you want me to do? Nothing too complex. We're just going to perform a simple surgical procedure. Fumi. Fumi, is it true that Jungo needs an operation? I've prepared a set of surgical tools. Let's get him to the OR. Otome, not you too. Hi, Otome. There's nothing wrong with me. Wait, huh? Fumi. Jungo seems perfectly fine. Fumi, do you want to slice open Jungo's head? Of course he is. I need the surgery done for my experiments. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Odom is going to let that fly. It's simple. You open Jungo's skull, and I hook his brain up to this machine. <laughs> um... What? I can't do that. <laughs> I believe in you, Otome. I know you can. Please. It's for the sake of scientific progress. <laughs> You don't want to anger me, Fumi. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Meanie. That's not nice to say. Come on, Jungo. Let's go. Hey, that's my test subject. I caught him. <laughs> Fumi. Bye-bye, Fumi. <laughs> Why do you seem so sad? She was gonna cut you open, Jungo. <laughs> Jungo and Otome leave. Damn, I thought that would work. Looks like I can't count on Otome's help. It's not like I was gonna do anything really dangerous anyways. You're gonna slice open the man's head and hook his brain up to your experiment- No, conceptual machine, Fumi. That's pretty dangerous. I guess I'll just have to perform the operation myself. I never was that good at surgery, though. Oh, boy. I will need a new test subject. If I can't use Jungo, maybe Daichi's free. Daichi has currently been kidnapped. <laughs> Wait a second... No! Fumi fixes her eyes on you. Are you free at the moment? You are right. <laughs> <laughs> you are, for sure. No, I have uh, many important things planned. Um... Uh, shit. <laughs> I gotta be at a meeting, actually? <laughs> Something terrible is about to happen. You decided to leave immediately. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, as much as I love you, Fumi, I'm not letting you slice me open and attach my brain to your concept machine. That, that's, uh, that's not fucking happening, woman. <laughs> oh, she's the best, though. Alright, home for us. I'll probably end the episode after this, and then we'll go into more events in the next one, because we're at, like, over half an hour already. Uh, Otome is carrying boxes. Hey, it's you. Just hold on a moment. I'm taking these medical supplies to... <laughs> Otome stumbles and begins to fall. Oh, I'm gonna catch her. Oh. You rush forward and catch Otome safely in your arms. Sorry, I must have lost my footing. Don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> I never thought I'd get scolded by you. I think I'm a little anemic. I could usually carry stuff like this, no problem, but... Uh, you need to take care of yourself. You're right. I really should. I guess being a doctor and a demon tamer is taking quite a toll on me. I know a doctor's health is top priority, but... Why have I been pushing myself so hard? Are you feeling lonely? <sighs> that might be it. It's probably because I don't have Koharu around as much. When Koharu was my daughter, I could draw the line because I didn't want to leave her alone. Now that I don't have that, I feel I shouldn't stop working. Ever. To me, she was home. But now... What's wrong, you two? Oh, Mako. Otome, are you alright? You look awfully pale. Otome fainted. What? I think I just pushed myself a little too hard. Sorry to trouble you. I'm so sorry, Otome. Makoto bows down to Otome. 
Lift your head, Mako. There's nothing to be sorry about. No, it's my fault for not realizing there was something wrong until now. Especially since we can only keep fighting because we have your support. Mako. I want you to tell me when you're troubled or scared or worried. Don't ever hold back. I'm your comrade and your friend. Thank you, Mako. I will. I promise. Well said, Mako. I can't improve, so ditto. Huh? Fumi? I'll help you carry things. All sorts of things. I'll start by taking this one. You can grab that heavy looking one, Mako. <laughs> I like to imagine that Makoto has to pick up this huge box while Fumi just has this like little hand little like uh one that fits in your hands. <laughs> You're helping? Are you feeling alright, Fumi? <laughs> Did you hit your head on something? You're the one that's not feeling well. I'm not so heartless that I'd make you carry things while you're sick, Otome. I know. Drink some of this and get your energy up. It's theoretically the best. You and your fucking miso vitan. <laughs> Thanks. Come on, Mako. Chop chop. Otome, you stay here and rest a bit. I'm coming. Bye, you two. I'll leave Otome in your hands. Two ladies walk away with the boxes. You still do have a place to come home to. You're right. I have wonderful friends. Thanks. I'm okay now. I should be more careful. So I can always be there to help my incredible friends. I'm feeling a little better now. I think I'll have this miso viton drink and take a break. Otome smiles quietly and walks away. Glad to see she's feeling better. So, uh, I'm gonna end the episode here, and in the next one, we'll take on more of these fate events, and we'll probably go into the battle against, uh, what's her face? <laughs> you know the one, Miyako. That, that's, that's her name. I don't know why that fucking skipped my mind. Oh boy, I, I, I need a fucking break, don't I? Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!